<laughs> All right, let me make some room for my wine. Most important thing of the day. We're here in the Manchi Sass Kitchen, and today I'm gonna make seafood. Should I wait a minute for that to stop? It's kind of loud, huh? Oh, wait. Just kick it. Do it like this. Hey! Wow! Told you! <laughs> So we're here in Munchie's Test Kitchen today and I'm gonna show you how to make seafood chowder. There are many different kinds of chowders out there. You have New England clam chowder, you've got Manhattan chowder, C-H-O-W hyphen D-A-H, chowder. What I'm starting off with right now, I'm gonna steam some clams. If you've seen an episode, it was an episode of The Cooking Show, but we went clamming once. <laughs> How many you got? Four. <laughs> they live under the sand, so they spit out a lot of grit and stuff. And the liquid, we're gonna strain it and use that liquid to make our seafood stock. So just cut up an onion and some garlic, and I'm gonna use this as the base to help steam my clams. I'm also adding a little bit of thyme right on in there, okay? Ooh, those onions are strong, they're getting to me. You know it helps that? Why? Sicily. Add a little bit of salt. When we add salt when we're cooking onion and stuff or any kind of vegetables, it helps draw the moisture out. So it helps soften it a little bit faster. These are nice and soft. You can smell that. It smells great. We are gonna add our clams. This is about three dozen clams or so. Add that on them. We're gonna add one cup of white wine. Roughly. And a cup of water. Give it a bit of stir. Bring that to a boil. It'll come to a boil, we'll cover it. It's gonna steam about 10 minutes. All right, while that's going, we're gonna prep our veggies. So we're gonna dice this onion. Everything is roughly the same size in this chowder. Everything's bite-sized, something you can put on your spoon and eat, it's manageable. All right, that is good. Chowder was originated in New England. And then people, you know, all, every region kind of, I think, adopts their own kind of variation of that. And this is my variation of that. Just cutting up our carrots. A bad chowder that I've had is in, the Rhode Island chowder is not good. Rhode Island is genuinely one of my favorite places in the United States. I dated a loser from Rhode Island. <laughs> I hope he watches this. He won't ever. He never watches my videos because we broke up and we hate each other. He took me to the White Horse Tavern. It is the oldest tavern in the United States. And they have a Rhode Island clam chowder. And I had it there and I was just like, oh, it's just not great. People love to kind of lay steak to a chowder and say like, my chowder is the best. No, my chowder is the best. Well, guess what? My chowder is the best, okay? We're adding fennel into this. Fennel is a weird one. It's very, I think, divisive. Love it or hate it. It's got the anise kind of flavor to it. I like it and I think it goes really well naturally with seafood. There we go, my veggies are ready. What'd you say? Sicily, I thought I hired up. P.S. I think it's just noon. <laughs> right, what time is it? Oh, 12.40. <laughs> way past, I'm way into the drinking range of the day. Tell me, are people actually playing? When you're at home, if you watch your videos, are you like, is it a drinking game? Are you drinking? I wanna know. Be safe. Be safe. They're pretty good to go. Yeah, these are all open. Just gonna pull the clams into here. Just pulling out the clams. So it's like about three and a half cups, which is about right, you know? Some clams are juicier than the rest. We are building our layers of seafood flavor. That was the first layer, the clam layer. Next up, we're gonna do all the veggies. We're gonna start sauteing all these bad boys, okay? With a little bit of butter and some oil. Onion, carrot, celery, fennel. I'm gonna season this, again, a little bit of salt. While this is cooking, sauteing, softening, I'm gonna prep up my old potatoes. We're using red potatoes. You can use any potato you want. Okay, these are gonna get cut into, again, bite-sized pieces. Sicily. Mm. Gonna add the rest of my wine, white wine, about a cup, and now we wait, 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 wait for it to reduce. We're gonna add our flour in. So flour's our thickening agent, as well as the potatoes. Like I said, these potatoes aren't super starchy, so it's kinda the point of adding the flour to this. You can see it, like all that, it just absorbed it right up. I'm gonna cook it for like maybe a minute, if that. That's looking good. I'm gonna add in my stock. I'm gonna save a little bit. So this is gonna thicken up like right away, essentially. I'm gonna stir it. So two cups of cream, heavy cream. You want healthy, go see Andy Baragani at Healthy-ish at Bon Appetit, okay? 
That's not why you're coming to me. You're coming to me for this and for Sicily. We're not doing our feel good plan. Whole 30, dry January. I'm trying to live my life, okay? I'm trying to limit my life. That's my new, new slogan. Live your life, don't limit your life. Sicily, cheers. Potatoes are going in. Come to a boil. We'll just do a simmer. Let it cook about 10 minutes. And meanwhile, we'll get our shrimp ready. <laughs> the old producer. Okay. You catching this? I'm a So we've got our, our shrimp. They're shell on whole shrimp, okay? We're gonna peel and devein our shrimp. Cut along the spine of the shrimp. So you're pulling, pulling that down. See that? We call it a vein. It's the poop shoot. I like to kind of hold there. And you're gonna take that off, okay? We're gonna remove the old poop shoot. Mmm. Yep, I just wiggled it at you. Why does every single one of these have so much poop in it? You can get your shrimp already peeled and vein. I'm just trying to show you how to peel and vein a shrimp, okay? You can also get clams, or like I said, you can buy your seafood stock. You don't have to do this. I'm just trying to like show you how you can do things. Could have also broken my fish. I got fillets and cut them into cubes or one inch pieces already. Okay, we're just gonna cut these in half. I'm gonna leave the clams the size they are because I've had bigger clams. We've had to cut them, but those are fine. I put that in my mouth. Sicily. I forgot this is full. Ooh. That tastes so good. I am gonna season it with some black pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna season this with salt. This with salt. Okay, I'm just gonna spread the old fish throughout it. So again, they're like bite-sized pieces. Shrimp, this won't take long. They literally, they'll, they'll be cooked within like two minutes. The fish is really delicate, so I don't wanna stir it and agitate it too much. It'll be fine, it'll flake apart, and that's great. You'll have little pieces of fish in there. I kinda like the chunks, so that's why I don't wanna stir it too much. At this stage, you're done. You're good to go. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, let me cut up some of these old fronds. You don't like fennel? Add some parsley here. Look at it, it's like so thick. You can see the shrimp is turning nice bright and pink. It's almost done. Our fennel fronds. Boop. The old crab. Plop. And the clams. Boop. And this just takes a minute to warm through. Give it a taste. Season it. Oh, look at this. This is, this is thick. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. I could have added it a teaspoon more. That's why I saved a little bit. I'd rather it be too thick than too thin. Mmm, that's so good. Damn, that's good. All these little bits and bops. We're not done yet. Gotta put a little of this on top. Done, 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 Sicily, done, 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 Sicily, twice. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get a bite of everything in this because that's impossible. The spoon's only so big, but I love this. I'm very happy. Mmm. You can kind of taste everything. I got that shrimp in there, tasting the fish. There's that creaminess, the potatoes, it's thick. It's warming. It's so good. Dip some bread in that. Yes. Mmm. For the recipe, click the link below. <laughs>